200 plus concert goers of Rod Wave Sunday show found themselves victims of a massive string of car break-ins in Central Business District area of Washington, D.C., according to numerous reports on social media. Many of the victims share photos of their vandalized vehicles to Twitter in complete shock, having their trust in the area security completely crushed. In this video, we're going to reveal where most of the car break-ins happened, when did it happen, and some statements from the victims that have made it on social media. But first, let's address DC's crime problem. Washington, DC has seen a significant rise in the number of carjackings and car thefts this year. According to crime data published online by DC Police Department, there have been 6,112 reports of motor vehicle theft so far this year in the district. That's a 98% increase from the same time frame as last year. As of Monday, 863 carjacking offenses have been reported so far this year. So where did the carjacking take place? On Sunday, many of Rod Wave's concert goers of the DC area reported to have their cars broken into near and around the Capital One Center, an entertainment arena located in downtown Northwest DC, where Rod Wave was performing at a stop on his national nostalgia tour. An independent reporter, Alan Henney, who posts breaking news in and around the Metro DC area, reported earlier Monday morning that police officers are taking numerous reports of thefts from auto in the DC downtown area in the past few hours. He provided the street names and locations where break-ins were reported, locations near and around the Capital One Center, which is at F and 6 streets northwest, an area circled in a map appended to Henny's post. Last year, a car was stolen every 36 seconds, according to National Insurance Crime Bureau. Many concert goers had their vehicles broken into during the time of the concert in the Capital One Arena, and some of them confirmed that on Twitter. FBI statistics show that nearly half of all car jackings occur at night between 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Here are statements and photos from some of the victims. One statement went as follows. After a dope night at Rod Wave's concert, my car gets broken into. MF's pathetic. Trying to not let it blow me for real. I just got my car out of the shop too. Another victim replied to this victim statement saying, they got me too. After the concert, I just got back to my car and saw the damages. About five to seven other cars on the same street I was on were also destroyed too.